Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and show you guys a little bit of what we've been up to and a few fun things that we have recently added to our homestead. Going out to the barn. Okay, so welcome to our chicken coop. We've got some babies, more like little teenagers. And we were also given the most beautiful and sweetest rooster. This is Mr. Edwards. <laughs> he is just the sweetest thing. We love him. He's been taking really good care of our little babies. Mr. Edwards. He is an Easter egger. Yeah, he is so nice. Let me see if I can get him. All right, here he is. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he is just the sweetest thing. He's a little, he's acting a little nervous right now. Usually he's pretty chill. Are you camera shy? Is that the deal? Yeah, he joined our homestead just a couple of days ago. A friend of ours took him in from someone else and uh, they live in town and so he was just crowing too much for them and so they asked if we wanted him and I said sure. My first thought was that I would practice maybe butchering, um, is that, that's what we're planning on getting into. And uh, But I met him and he is just, just so sweet and he seems to really like the girls so that's good. Give me down. Oh. All right, and here are our ladies, at least I think they're all ladies having a little clover tree. Oh, did you want to be in the camera? Did you want to be on camera? Hi. So that one is, I think, Mary Poopins. I think. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out how to, how to tell them apart. This one is Dandelion. Hi! Oh my goodness, hi there! That's Dandelion. We've got Ginger. And the other Buff Orpington is Peanut. We haven't named all of them. This one is Ariel. So we've named, let's see, we've named five of them. We're still trying to figure out what we want to name the others. But we have two Bard Rocks, two Buff Orpingtons, two Rhode Island Reds, and two Cuckoo Marians. And then our Easter Egger rooster over here. out of here. <laughs> Come here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi baby. 
cookies. I don't have any food. So we are, this has been the second day that these little ladies have been outside here in their coop. We've kept them in this little cage overnight. The past few nights have been pretty warm, so I've only draped a blanket over the cage, but we will be bringing out a heat lamp tonight because it's supposed to get down, I think in the 40s. So we keep them in here. We haven't let them out really at all. This guy comes and goes as he pleases now. <laughs> Showing off now? Oh, he's so pretty. Look at him. So pretty. We love him. But yeah, I today I chose to keep the main door open and just have this kind of blocking them in. Got another gate just as a backup. We've all been outside all day, so we're just kind of keeping an eye on them. Probably close it up more later so no predators come. Oh, look at them. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a little peek of what we've been doing here on our little homestead. We are really enjoying having these chickens. We actually are in the process, or we're waiting for more chickens. So we plan on getting meat birds. David, my husband, is going to be building a chicken tractor that will move around our property so that um, he'll help with the, the grass, but also just, you know, a good way to, to feed them, let them free range in a way. And um, and since meat birds, I guess, are, they process, they go through their life cycle a lot quicker. Um, so we will be doing that. We're also gonna be getting six guineas and six more Rhode Island Reds to help with um, egg production. And some, oh, we're gonna be getting three ducks. We thought, for fun, uh, maybe we'll get some eggs from it. Um, so yeah, that's where we are right now with our homestead and kind of what we're doing um, currently. But right now, I'm gonna go show you guys a little peek at the garden. Okay, my camera died and so I had to retry. I'm gonna show you guys our garden and kind of what it's looking like right now. We have put in so much work, so I just wanted to give you a little update of what it looks like, and yeah, here we go. All right, we've got our broccoli going strong. This is what I was mulching in last time, and it is getting really big, growing so good. So excited about it. I'm hoping that it doesn't bolt before it gets too hot. My broccoli last year bolted pretty quickly, it seemed. I don't know. I'm still new, just still trying to figure out things and kind of how things grow. But yeah, this is this is what we've got going on. It's very different compared to last time. We are loving it. We still have a lot more work to do. We've got a lot of stuff back here that we still need to finish up doing and we've got a lot of planting ahead but I will walk around real quick and show you what we've added so here in the very front we still have our onions and then our two little rows of potatoes we've got our lettuce looking so 
good. I'm really excited to start harvesting on that. I think just a little bit longer we'll be ready. And we've been working on our pads. We, um, I'm not, I don't remember exactly what I talked about last time, but we are doing bricks that we got for free and we're adding sand as we can. Then we'll eventually add like rocks kind of all along the edge. We push pause on the whole brick situation as we ne really needed to work on getting the gardens ready to plant. So a lot of it has been dug, but nothing has been laid out and it's real muddy and gross and yeah. But I am absolutely loving the way that it's looking. We've added a couple of trellises. We've got one archway here, one arch there, and one long panel there. We plan on adding another arch right here. And we'll add more arches over there, possibly more over there. I'm not sure yet, but that's kind of the plan for now. Over here, you can't really tell, but I've got some okra planted. Um, I direct sowed those. I've got some pineapple ground cherries right here. I found those at Lowe's the other day, and I felt that was kind of bizarre. I've never seen them actually sell ground cherries before. I've never really even heard of ground cherries until I started following Just from Roots and Refuge. And I've got seeds for just like the regular ground cherries, but they had pineapple ground cherries, so grab those. I did plant some tom tomatoes here. These are um, just some cherries. I think one of them is a hybrid and the other is, oh gosh, I don't remember exactly what they are, but we've got a few planted here. This is kind of where our cherry tomatoes are gonna go and the other trellis, we'll just kind of add on more. We're actually, uh, I forgot to mention, we're gonna add another, just like a small wall trellis right here for some San Marzano tomatoes. All right, and back over here with the broccoli, I added a little zucchini seed here that hasn't popped up yet. Um, I plan on adding a lot of zucchini through here once the broccoli is done. And then I've got some bed bell peppers. Um, Stella, our middle child, she loves bell peppers, loves sweet peppers. Benjamin seems to like them too. I like them. So I figured this would be kind of a fun thing. So we've got red, orange, and yellow. It's like a little rainbow. More okra that I'm gonna grow here. Nothing is planted over here just yet. And through here, I am gonna just do a lot of herbs and like real pretty edible flowers. We've got echinacea planted there. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not real sure if that is anything yet. I think it might just be weed. But I did plant some lemon mint there, which I don't know, may not have been the best idea because I know mint can be kind of crazy. Um, planted a couple other herbs there. I cannot think of them off the top of my head. But we plan on just filling this little area with lots of pretty um, herbs and, and things like that. So. Nothing has been done over here yet, just prepped, ready to go. Here is our, our um, panel that we will do tomatoes. It had kind of a bend to it, and I kind of liked it, so we went with it, and it's kind of like wavy, kind of has a whimsical feel, so we're going with that. Probably add like a half panel over here. I plan on, we're gonna cut one of these in half, do one over there with the San Marzanos, and then another tomato right here. We've got two rows of corn, which I think is not a good idea. I think you're supposed to have four. I heard that somewhere, I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. Right here is just regular sweet corn, and here is a mini blue popping corn. So, that's that. Then, right here, we've got a little rectangle full of things that we just planted with the kids. This is the kids' garden. I'll be coming through and adding little trellises for some of the tomatoes that are down here. We got some cucumbers here. 
We added some pumpkins for them right there and a watermelon. And they just planted some seeds, some little flowers and things like that. All for them. So then we've got our strawberries here. They're doing really good. Lots of buds. And then right over here, we've got some little tiny berries. Doing so good. Look at that. Our strawberries last year did not uh, produce anything, so I'm excited. And Our, transplanted our um, pumpkins that we started. We've got the Cinderella pumpkins here and some sugar pie pumpkins there. Um, we left this space open because I want to see if I can find some little Jaffy little pumpkin seeds. Then we direct sowed some Connecticut, uh, Connecticut pumpkins, big orange pumpkins, and some Valencia. I don't remember. It's it's one of the big white pumpkins there on this last row. Doing kind of a root stout, planting on um, the hay with some compost, worm castings, mushroom compost and worm castings there. So we'll see what happens with that. Oh yeah, there's the garden so far. All right, so that is the main part of the garden that um, We've got planted and some things we haven't yet, but that's what we've got prepped. Um, out there, we have our huge asparagus patch that is going crazy. I'm not gonna walk all the way out there right now, but maybe in the next video I'll show kind of what we're doing with that. But yeah, thanks for coming along and seeing our new additions with our little chickies and our rooster man and seeing our garden. Thanks for tagging along. Bye guys.